All right, so you all know how I like to write to different MIDI drums and different MIDI loops and things like that. Today I'm going to show you how I wrote with some drum loops and some drum MIDI loops from a company called Drum Now. Uh, they've actually been around for a while, but I messaged them on Instagram and asked them if they'd be interested in partnering with me on this video. So this is not a sponsored post. They didn't pay me for this, but they did give me this Modern Metalcore Volume 6 uh, drum MIDI and drum loop pack that you're about to listen to. So let's go ahead and dive into how that sounds in a full demo mix real quick. All right, so what you heard there was the Drum Now Modern Metalcore Volume 6 MIDI, and I actually used the Robot Dog Drums Rock plugin that you guys have seen me use quite a few times now because Drum Now made it really simple to actually just take their MIDI and just choose a different uh, drum mapping instead of the drum plugin, and it worked without me having to do anything. So as you see up here on the screen, this is all of the MIDI that I used. And to make it easier for me to get to those MIDI files, um, I actually just have them in my browser. So if I open up inside of Logic Pro, I know other DAWs work the same. But if I navigate to the Modern Metalcore Volume 6 folder, I've got the loops and then I've got the MIDI. So the way that I use this is first I would open up the loops folder and go through, these are the different BPMs. And if I click here, these are the different types of kits that they've got available. So the Gent Master, Massive Punk Kit, New Metal Kit. I tend to go for the Gent Master Kit because I just love how it sounds. But if I click on one, it immediately lets me preview that loop. So it sounds pretty sick already, right? Like they definitely did a great job mixing and compressing and making those sound really mix ready as it is. Uh, but I wanted a little bit more versatility for my use and that's why it's great that they offer these all as MIDI files as well. So if I go back, double click on the MIDI, now inside of my uh, drum track up here, I can literally just drag one of these onto the drum track if I want to. Um, I'm using the Superior Drummer mapping, but if I drop that on here and click, And so now you see what I meant by the versatility there is I'm able to actually use that with my own tempo. Uh, before you saw the drum loops were at 170 and up, I needed something a little bit slower. So I wanted it about 150 and this allows me to do that. And it's super easy now to just drag and drop. You'll see I've used one, two of their fills, which we'll go into in a second here. I've used two of their fills and then I've got four different drum loops of theirs in that demo song that you were listening to. So when I'm using these uh, MIDI loops, what's nice is I can then use my own drum routing and everything. So I can use my own EQ. I can set the levels and everything for my exact mix. Um, honestly, their drums sound fantastic, so I'm not knocking that at all. Theirs are very mix ready and easy to use at the same time, but I just wanted to be able to control everything myself and they allow me to do that. You'll see over here in the browser how many different uh, drum loops that we've got to choose from. And inside of each of these folders, so if I go into this fill, for instance, there are four different MIDI files. And the reason they did that is they made it a lot easier for people to go in and actually grab the MIDI file that correlates to the drum plugin that they're using. So they have four super popular ones in here, obviously. They have their own MIDI. They have Get Good Drums, Steven Slate Drums, and Superior Drummer, which are all really popular. Um, I do use Robot Dog Drums. I'm partnered with them, as you all know. But inside of Robot Dog Drums, they actually make it just as easy. I just click inside of Setup and go to the preset and I changed it to Super Drummer, Superior Drummer, haha, ha, get it? And so that then allows everything that I'm using as far as the Drum Now MIDI to work immediately. And so let's go ahead and solo that. And so now you hear it with what I've done to it, with the mix that I've done to it and all of the different master bus stuff that's going on here. So, and thankfully it's pretty much just that easy to use the drum now MIDI. So it's pretty much just drag and drop. It literally is just drag and drop. You drop it into your DAW and you can use it either as loops or you can use it as the MIDI files. I use the MIDI files. I do preview using the loops first just because it allows me to hear what that drum beat's going to sound like instead of having to drag the MIDI in every single time. This way I can listen to the drum loop in real time and then I just go back to the correlating folder and I would then drag the one that I want. 
So I go back into MIDI, China double time, for instance, and then I can drag that into my DAW. So if all of you are like me and you like writing guitar music to other people's drums, because obviously that simulates kind of simulates playing with a real drummer because these were written by real drummers, then go ahead and check this out. Link is down in the description as usual. Um, I find this super useful. I actually wrote three different songs this week using their different drum MIDI, and it made it extremely easy for me to just get started, get writing. I don't have to worry about programming drums right then and there, but because they provide all the MIDI, I can go in and change things. I can change the articulations. I can change the velocity. I can put notes in there that weren't in there in the first place. So it's really cool to have all of that versatility in these really easy to use packs. So feel free to check them out. Let me know if you guys have any questions down in the comments. So peace, y'all.